this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your Polaris telescope. Mead's Polaris line of telescopes come complete with everything you need to view the wonders of the night sky. The Polaris series delivers bright and clear images with the greatest detail and enables observation of the craters of the moon, Saturn's rings, and even Jupiter's surface. These telescopes are also capable of resolving features of brighter deep sky objects, such as the Orion Nebula and Andromeda Galaxy, especially with apertures starting at 114mm and above. Here are a few of the features that set the Mead Polaris telescope system apart from all others. The Polaris series comes in a variety of apertures including 70, 80, and 90mm refractors, as well as 114, 127, and 130mm reflectors. Each telescope in this series features a stable German equatorial mount and a stainless steel tripod with slow motion controls that make it easy to track celestial objects as they move across the sky. The 70mm and 80mm models feature a smaller mount style, while the 90mm and above get a larger mount design. These telescopes also include a red dot viewfinder that helps you easily locate objects you want to observe, three MAI pieces that provide low, medium, and high powered magnification for viewing a wide range of objects, plus a 2 times Barlow lens to provide an even higher magnification. You'll want to set the telescope up in a large open area where you can see lots of sky. Make sure the ground is stable and is approximately level. Now, let's start the setup process. The tripod is the basic support for your telescope. Loosen each leg lock knob and extend the inner tripod leg so the tripod is at an appropriate height and the top of the tripod is level. Then re-tighten the leg lock knobs to a firm feel. Spread the tripod legs evenly apart and set the height of your tripod so that you can view comfortably. Level the mount with the horizon by adjusting the heights of the three tripod legs. To attach the accessory tray, place the tray between the leg brace supports. Align the three channels built into the tray and secure the tray in place. Next, attach the mount to the body of the tripod by placing the base of the mount on top of the tripod. Secure the mount using the large azimuth lock knob and tighten to a firm feel. Then install the latitude adjustment screw to the back of the Polaris mount by threading it in until secure. Attach the counterweight shaft and counterweight. Thread the counterweight shaft into the mount's declination axis. Remove the safety knob and slide the counterweight onto the shaft until it's about 2 inches from the bottom. Secure in place by tightening the counterweight lock knob and thread the safety nut into the counterweight shaft until tight. Next, attach the flexible cables. Be sure to tighten the slow motion cable thumb screws so that it is seated against the flat spot on the shaft and tighten to a firm feel. Loosen the latitude adjustment lock and adjust the latitude adjustment to your observing site's latitude. Determine the latitude of your observing location by checking an atlas or the GPS reading on your phone. Attach the optical tube to the mount. Lay the optical tube saddle plate onto the top of the mount and tighten both OT mounting screws. Attach the red dot viewfinder and insert the eyepiece. For reflectors, slide the eyepiece directly into the eyepiece holder. For refractors, first slide the 90 degree erect prism into the focuser draw tube. Then, slide the eyepiece directly into the 90 degree erect prism. In order for the telescope to move smoothly on its right ascension axis, it must first be balanced. While bracing the telescope with one hand, carefully unlock the right ascension lock knob and turn the telescope so that the counterweight shaft is pointing horizontally. Now, gradually let go of the telescope and see if it appears heavy on the telescope side or counterweight side. Readjust the position of the counterweight as needed until the telescope is balanced in right ascension. The declination axis also needs to be balanced by moving the OTA in the cradle rings or dovetail position on the saddle plate. Now. Let's align the red dot viewfinder. During the daytime, point the telescope at an easy to find land object such as the top of a telephone pole or a distant mountain or tower. Look through the eyepiece and turn the focuser knob until the image is sharply focused. Center the object precisely and the eyepiece is filled to view. Turn on the red dot viewfinder and look through it. Turn one or more of the viewfinder's alignment screws until the red dot is precisely over the same object as you centered in the eyepiece. Check this alignment at night on a celestial object such as the moon or a bright star, and use the viewfinder's alignment screws to make any necessary refinements. Remember to turn off the viewfinder when done with your telescope. To line up the Mead Polaris German Equatorial Mount with the celestial pole, 
Slightly loosen the azimuth lock so that the entire telescope with mounting may be rotated in a horizontal direction. Rotate the telescope until it points true north near the star Polaris. You can use a compass to assist you, but ultimately should have the mount right ascension axis point close to Polaris. Unlock the right ascension and declination lock knobs and position them out so that the counterweight shaft is pointing towards the ground, and the declination circle is set to 90 degrees. Then lock the mount in place. Release the latitude lock knob and use the latitude lock adjustment knob. Tilt the telescope mount so that the latitude scale is set to your location. For example, if setting up in Los Angeles, California, the latitude is 34 degrees north. At this point, Polaris should be in the field of view of your telescope's red dot viewfinder. Make a final adjustment by centering Polaris in the eyepiece using only the latitude adjustment knob and azimuth motion on the mount. Remember, do not move the right ascension or declination axis or use the slow motion cables to make this final adjustment. Once complete, re-tighten the latitude adjustment lock knob and the azimuth lock knob. If this is performed with reasonable accuracy, your telescope is now sufficiently polar aligned. This makes tracking any celestial object in the sky seamless with your Polaris German equatorial mount. Once the mount has been polar aligned, the latitude angle does not need to be adjusted again, unless you move to a different geographical location. Also, once polar aligned, don't move the telescope tripod as your telescope will no longer be polar aligned. Simply unlock the right ascension and declination knock knobs and move the telescope to the area of the sky you want to observe. Then lock both knobs in place. Use the slow motion control cables to center the object you want to see in the eyepiece. As the object moves across the sky, all you have to do is gradually turn the right ascension slow motion control cable to keep the object centered in the eyepiece. The Polaris mounts have a limited range of motion and will stop moving when you hit the declination slow motion hard stop and will need to be reset for continued use. The only polar alignment procedure that you need to perform each time you use the telescope is to point the polar axis true north. You'll never forget about your first time looking through a telescope. With Meets Polaris, you will create even more memories of a lifetime.